Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Elite Entertainment. I am your host, Gage Matthews. Well, folks, week seven is in the books today. Um, I went eight and seven in picks. A lot of the games that I, I picked didn't go the way I wanted it to. Uh, my beloved Packers lost. We're four and three. I don't believe we're out. I still believe in Brett Hundley. You're the dog. Um, fantasy, I lost both games. Uh, five and two and four and three. So it's not too bad. Just got to rebound this season, this the next game. Um, let's get right into my week eight picks, shall we? And remember, um, you get one upset and one block pick. So here we go. On Thursday night, we have the Dolphins versus the Ravens. Matt Moore is the quarterback. I'm going with the Baltimore Ravens. 9.30 a.m. in London. Vikings versus the Browns. Minnesota is going to kick the crap out of them. Next, we have the Panthers versus the Buccaneers. These are your 1 o'clock games, folks. Uh, that was a tough game. I'm going to take Carolina. Carolina wins. Next, we have 49ers at Philadelphia. No match for the Niners. The Eagles. Uh, you win that game. Saints or Bears at Saints. Saints win that game. Chargers versus the Patriots. The Patriots will win that game. Raiders versus Bills. Upset of the week. Bills win this game. Bengals versus Colts. The Bengals will win this game. Texans versus Seahawks. The Seahawks will win this game. My lock. Uh, Cowboys versus Redskins. They, the Texans and the Seahawks and the Redskins and Cowboys. They're, those games are the 4 o'clock games. Um, Cowboys will beat the Redskins. Steelers versus Lions. Sunday night. Excuse me. My pick of the week. Lock pick. The Steelers beat the Lions. And Broncos versus Chiefs. Chiefs will beat the Broncos on Monday night. Those are my picks. Uh, I want to address a few things. First off, uh, the TLC pay-per-view was eh, iffy. Um, not having Roman Reigns kind of hurt the pay-per-view. Uh, I would have rather seen the Shield complete versus the, you know, in the three on five, but it, it didn't work out that way. Them bringing Kane back the feud with Braun Strowman was stupid. Kane is old and out of shape, and he's just washed up and done. Making Enzo turn heel just ruins his character. Um, and Monday Night Raw was a good show. Although I think Brock Lesnar versus Jinder Mahal is dumb, but you can't count Jinder Mahal out because he has his two Nimrods plus the great Kali. But he is facing Brock Lesnar. Then you have Shane McMahon and SmackDown invading Raw, which was awesome, off the hook. So, we'll see how SmackDown goes tonight. Next, I want to address somebody on YouTube compared Carson Wentz to Brett Favre. Don't ever, ever do that. Understand? He is no Brett Favre. Ever. But never will be. The Eagles are playing garbage-ass teams, and they, are, and they almost lose to garbage-ass teams. 
Excuse my language. You almost lost to the Chargers. You almost lost to the Giants. You beat the Cardinals. Ooh, they have no. They're not good anymore. Let's see. You're gonna. You're gonna get swept by the Dallas Cowboys. You're gonna. You're gonna lose to the Giants for the in the, the second game. I guarantee it. Watch. Watch. You beat nobodies. You're six and one because you face nobodies. Nobodies. Who do the Redskins have besides Kirk Cousins and Chris Thompson and Ryan Kerrigan on defense? They have nobody. Jamison Crowder. Josh Doxson. Terrell Pryor can't catch. Jordan Reed hurt. Nobody's. Nobody's and has been. So the next time you compare Carson Wentz to Philadelphia or to Brett Favre, I hope the Packers fans go out after you for that. But on further note, um, uh, that's about it for for this week's episode. Oh, no, it's not. We're halfway through the season, folks. And I have my playoff predictions. So we'll start with the AFC side. The number one seed on the AFC side, the Kansas City Chiefs at 13-3. and three. The number two team, the New England Patriots. At 12 and 4. Or no. 13 and 3. Next we have the Steelers. Is the number 3 team at 12 and 4. The Raiders. The number 4 team at 10 and 6. And the Jacksonville Jaguars. The number 5 at 9 and 7. And the Tennessee Titans. Number 6 at 9 and 7. Um, now, on the uh, NFC side, the number one team, the Los Angeles Rams at 12-4. and four. That's an iffy pick, but we'll see. And the number two team, the Philadelphia Eagles at 13-3. and three. The number three team, the Saints at... 11 and 5. The number 4 team, the Minnesota Vikings at 11 and 5. The number 5 team, the Cowboys at 10 and 6. The number 6 team in the wild card, the Green Bay Packers at 10 and 6. Aaron Rodgers is returning between week 14 and week 15. So I guess him two games to come back so we can we can salvage the season, I believe. Um now let's get into these games. Uh game one. Steelers and Titans, the Steelers win. Game two, Jacksonville and Raiders, the Jacksonville Jaguars win. Game three on and four on the on the AFC side, Jags and Chiefs, Chiefs win. And Steelers beat the Patriots in uh Foxborough. And then the Chiefs beat the Steelers. Now on the NFC side, Aaron Rodgers is making his return. As a wild card, the last time he was a wild card, we won the Super Bowl. We faced the Saints. We beat the Saints. The Minnesota Vikings versus Dallas. Dallas beats Minnesota. The Rams versus Dallas. The Rams win. Packers beat the Eagles in Philadelphia. And then we got the Packers versus the Rams. And the Chiefs versus the Steelers. Where the Chiefs beat the Steelers and the Packers beat the Rams. Which makes you a Super Bowl. The Packers versus the Chiefs. Where the Packers and Aaron Rodgers win 31-27. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. Um, I hope you enjoy the show. I hope you enjoy my little rant. That's the first time I ranted about something that just pissed me off. Have a nice day, folks.